Hello, sports fans and baseball fans alike out there. This is Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, we're going to discuss the 2021 matchup of the White Sox against the Milwaukee Brewers. Now, if you remember, I do a series of videos where I compare the White Sox to every opponent that they will play in 2021. And the White Sox play the NL Central this year. They always play the Cubs from the Central, but they will play the rest of the NL Central as well this year, as far as their NL opponents go. And this year, the games will be in Milwaukee. There will be three games, and they will be from July, I believe it's July 23rd to the 25th um, in Milwaukee. Last year, the White Sox split with the Brewers. We played four games against them. They were all in Chicago, and uh, we split with them 2-2. So this year we have three games against them and we will see what we do in those games. But before you can make an educated guess as to how we might do against the Brewers, you would wanna see how we match up against them in the lineup, the starting rotation, the bullpen and the bench. Not so much the bench, but we are going to go over the benches. So anyway, with that having been said, let's get into the analysis. All right, so here we are, and we are, we're back, and we're going to discuss, as I said, we're going to compare the White Sox in, uh, in 2021 to the Brewers, who are a team that they will play. And now here is the lineup, the projected lineup for the White Sox. Again, this is just a projected lineup. It's really up to Tony La Russa what the actual lineup will be, but it will line up something like you would guess. Tim Anderson at short, Adam Eaton or Adam Engel and or platooning at um, uh, right field and in the second spot in the order. Nick Madrigal at second base. He has Monty Grandal at catcher. He should do a bulk of the catching for the White Sox this year since they had lost McCann to the Mets. Jose Abreu at first, Eloy Jimenez in left field, probably since we're talking about the DH because these games will be in Milwaukee. Johan Moncada at third, Luis Robert in center. Normally you might see Luis Garcia or, or Lurie Garcia, excuse me, or um, Andrew Vaughn at DH for the White Sox, but there won't be a DH in the Milwaukee series this year since we play them in Milwaukee and it will be under National League rules. And the National League is going back to the, um, the uh, non-DH for 2021, or at least that's the plan. The White Sox rotation will be something like Lance Lynn and Lee, Luis, Luis um, Luis Giolito, um, probably, um, as the first two could be inter, you know, um, intermingled there. Dallas Keuchel, Dylan Cease, and then Michael Kopech, Ronaldo, um, Lopez or Carlos Rodon, possibly in the fifth spot. Kopech didn't pitch last year, so they have to stretch him out. He may start in the bullpen, he may start in the minors and try to, you know, try to work himself up to where he can be full time. But you got to believe they probably aren't going to throw him right into the rotation right from day one, even with a full spring training. They may want to take it a little slower with him. He's coming off Tommy John surgery. And so um, 
and and having sat out last year. So his arm is probably totally recovered, but they got to stretch him out. That's the issue there. The uh, bullpen for the White Sox, and you can see on the, the photo, we have the newly acquired Liam Hendricks, who is expected to be the closer probably for the White Sox. Uh, Evan Marshall, Cody Hewer, who was very good last year. Aaron Bummer, Matt Foster, Garrett Crotchet, who can throw around 100 miles an hour, um, even a little over that. Jimmy Cordero, uh, Jace Fry, and then perhaps Carlos Rodon, Ronaldo Lopez uh, combination in the bullpen, depending on whether they actually make the rotation to start the year or not. And those are just really White Sox bullpen options, not necessarily every guy that they would carry, but those are among their options. Now, the White Sox bench options would include Andrew Vaughn, who I mentioned before. If he's ready, he may make the club out of spring training. He did, I believe, get a cup of coffee last year. Uh, Danny Mendick. Zach Collins will be the backup catcher to... Uh, grand all this year and he's kind of untested so far at the major league level as far as what he's really capable of both defensively as a catcher and offensively with the stick so we'll have to see how he pans out um the white Sox may try to go get a a uh, veteran or established backup but um they may also just stick with collins and see how it goes to start the year Nick Williams, Micah Rodolfo, and Lurie Garcia. If Vaughn makes the team, you might uh, guess that Vaughn would probably be the DH and shared the duties at first in DH with, um, with Abreu. So that's how the bench would look for the White Sox in 2021. And now we go on to the 2020 Milwaukee Brewers. The Brewers last year were 29 and 31, and their manager is Craig Council. I'm not really a big fan of Craig Council. He tends to pull pitchers very quickly. Um, he's one of those kinds of managers, and um, I don't agree with that. Um, you know, he doesn't like he'll pull them before they're even before they even get into trouble. And I, I just really don't like that method of managing. Um, it seems to work for him. The, the Brewers have done pretty well under him. So we'll see if he continues it this year. But that seems to be his, um, his MO. So, and he, he tends to pinch hit quickly also early in the game. I mean, he really, he manages every game like it's a playoff game. So, um, yeah, I don't know. But anyway, I'm not a big fan of Craig Council, but, you know, maybe you Brewers fans out there are, maybe you aren't. Let me know. So the projected lineup for the Brewers in 2021 would probably be the newly acquired Colton Wong at second, Lorenzo Cain in center, Christian Yelich, their big expensive man, their all-star, uh, Keston Hura at first base, Omar Narvaez, who used to play for the White Sox, at catcher, Avasail Garcia, who also used to play for the White Sox in right. Travis Shaw at third, and then possibly Orlando Garcia at shortstop. The projected Brewers lineup is very good, especially it's got some good young flame-throwing arms out there. Brandon Woodruff, Corbin Burns, Josh Lindholm, Adrian Hauser, and Brett Anderson. The the grizzled vet of the group is Brett Anderson, um, but um, and he's had injury problems in the past as well. So we will see what the Brewers do about his spot in the rotation if his injury bugaboo comes up again or if he is ineffective. But the other four are very good and, uh, and usually can get up in the high nine, mid to high 90s with their fastballs. The Brewers projected bullpen, and these are just the bullpen options, possible options for the uh, Brewers out there. Josh Hader would probably be the closer. 
Devin Williams, although he was extremely good last year, it would be interesting to see if they put Devin Williams at closer and Hayter is a setup guy. Um, Brent Suter, Justin Topa, Brad Boxberger, Ray Black, Eric Yardley, and Freddie Peralta. Now, Freddie Peralta and Brent Suter have started also in the past for the Brewers, so that is also a possibility for them uh, to slip one of those two into the rotation if uh, Brett Anderson is ineffective or injured. Um, and really, injuries happen over the course of the year to everybody. Nobody goes wire to wire with a five-man rotation. So it'll be interesting to see um, which of them, if either of them, uh, get some time in the rotation for the Brewers. And then that brings us to the Brewers bench possibilities for 2021. Uh, you got Manny Pena, the backup catcher, and there's the photo of him right there. Luis Urias, uh, backup infielder. Daniel Robertson, um, a backup infield and outfield. Derek Fisher, a backup outfielder, but I believe he can also play first base. Dan Vogelbach will be on the 40 man uh, and he's a first baseman. Tyrone Taylor, an out, the, uh, one of the outfielders, and Jace Peterson, one of the possible outfielders. So those are all bench possibilities. They can probably only keep three or four of them at any given time, maybe four of them, because uh, we are going to, I think, uh, Major League Baseball is going to the 26-man roster now. So, um, you know, it remains to be seen. And they'll probably do some shuttling back and forth like every team does with their bench uh, players and with their relief pitchers as well. So that it concludes the uh, discussion. As I said, there will be three games this year in 2021, all in Milwaukee from July 23rd to the 25th. Um, you know, it's anybody's guess who wins this series. I would be surprised if either team sweeps it. The Brewers have, they don't have a lineup that can really match up with Chicago's lineup, in my opinion, but they do have extremely good starting pitching and a good bullpen. So they might be able to shut the uh, White Sox lineup down. And if they can do that, they should be able to score enough runs to win a game or two of the series. I don't see any sweeps, but what do you guys think? If you're a Brewers fan out there, do you think that uh, you're going to fare well against the White Sox this year? And really, how do you think you're going to do against the AL Central in general? Uh, but that's all I got to say. That's the end of the presentation. And so that's it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke, signing off.